All right, so in this video, I am going to show you how to recreate something that looks like this using Cadence Blocks. So um, before I kind of dive in, I want to sort of explain the structure of this. So anytime you see um, text like this over the top of an image, generally that image is a background image. So in Cadence Blocks, you can either, you know, add a image block or you can use a background image on different areas. And so you'll see this come into play as we start designing, okay? All right, so we're going to go over here and I'm just going to start by adding a blank page. We'll just start with a clean slate. And then um, right here where we need to add a new block, I am going to start with a row layout. And then here we can choose however many columns you want. Uh, I am going to do four um, just to start with. And then if you need more or less, you can always come over here to columns and you can change this to less or more um, dependent on your needs. Okay. And then inside of this first one, we're going to just start um, getting the format of everything we want right here. And then we can duplicate it for all of the other sections. Okay. So I'm going to pull up my list view and so we can see what we're working with here. And let me move this down. And then, um, so now we have our row layout and then we have four sections or columns. Okay. So let's start with this column all the way on the left. All right. So I'm going to select this section and I'm going to go over here to the right and go to style and I'm going to choose a background image. We're going to go ahead and put an image in there. Okay. And I'm just going to select a random image here. Okay. And then now inside of this, I want to add um, a text advanced and this is going to be the text that we see here. So I'm just going to say um, text advance and then I'm going to type in here. Let's just say the shop. Okay. And then over here on the right, um, we can do all kinds of things with this. So we can change this to whatever HTML tag we want it to be. So I think I'm going to go with um, an H4 on this. I'm going to go ahead and center the text. And then on style, let's go ahead and give it a background color. Okay, and it's okay now that you don't see our image in the background. Um, we'll fix that here in a minute. And then I'm gonna go to advanced and I'm gonna click on this linked icon and I'm gonna change the padding that's happening around this text because by default, it puts a little too much padding in there. So I wanna make this a little bit smaller. Oops, let's go there. All right, so now how do we see the image and how do we get um, this title to be like in this position, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and select the whole row and I'm going to go to advance and structure settings. And here I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. This makes sure that every, um, column or section inside this row is going to match on the height. Okay. So if one is 500 pixels tall, then all of them are going to be that. So we want to go ahead and turn that on. And then we're going to go ahead and set a minimum height on this. And so let's just start with 300 and then we can adjust that if we need it to be a little bit bigger. All right. And then next I am going to, with the row selected um, by default, um, everything will be aligned to the top of the row. And in this example, we really want it to be aligned to the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and align to the bottom. And there is a, a little issue with the current version of Cadence. So it's not doing it on the back end, but I'm pretty sure it'll do it on the front end. All right. And then I'm going to select this section and we're going to add a little bit of padding here. So I'm going to go to advanced. And um, again, I'm going to sync this up and let's just do a little bit of padding. And then I'm going to save draft and let's look at it. Let's make sure that is actually appearing on the bottom of the image. Perfect. So here is kind of the base of where we're starting. So if I wanted to, you know, go in a little bit more on the left and right, I can do that too with the padding. So let's do this. Let's go, um, let's unlink it. And then on the right and left, just let's increase that just a little bit more. Let's go large on both sides. Okay, and then I'm actually going to make that text a little bit smaller. So even though this is an H4 tag, it's just going to adopt the settings that are inside of the customizer, but I can independently customize this as well. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. Okay, I like that. 14. Okay, perfect. So let's save again, and then let's refresh. Let's make sure we like the way that looks. Okay, perfect. And so now that I've got this very first one set, I'm going to take this section and I'm just going to duplicate it. So I'm going to select this section, 
do the three little dots, and I'm going to hit duplicate. And I'm going to do the same thing um, three times. So let's see, duplicate and duplicate. And then you'll see the ones with the arrows, and that just shows that there's content inside of them. And then these are the ones that were left over. So I'm just going to select these three. I'm, I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard, and it'll select all three of these. And then I'm going to do the three dots and delete, okay? And so now when we do that, you'll see that the height of this um, comes back, okay? Now, if you've got more rows, like say you want four columns, but you want two rows of four columns, then your height on this um, minimum height here would need to increase because the height here is for the entire row, okay? Um, so you can always come back and tweak that. And so let's, it's auto-saving, and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to refresh, and you'll see now we've got all of them. And so now I can just go into each, select the section, come over here, edit the image, and let's just choose another image. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing with this one. Okay, and then we'll do the same with this last one. And so then we'll have four different images here. Okay, and then we can change the titles. Um, I don't know, let's do uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't know, we'll just change these up for a second okay and then save draft again and then I'll come back over here and refresh my screen and so now we've got um, four columns and then we've all all different images and all different links um, all different titles excuse me so let's actually talk about links um, so the lastly you're gonna want to link all of these things and so you can do um, you can link these kind of however you want you can link them by the title and then that way, the only thing that is linked is this right here, not the whole block, okay? So in order to do that, you would select this text, and then over here on the left, you'll go to General and Link Settings, and then you will put your link in here. Now, typically when you put your link in here, it's going to want to underline that link, and so if you're having that issue, you would go to Link Style and just set this as None, okay? But let's say you want this entire image to link to wherever you want it to go you would link the actual section and not the title. So you would select section, and then you'll do overlay link, and then you'll put your link right here. And so then the entire block here will link to where you want it to go, okay? And then again, if you wanted these to be a little taller, you can always come in here and change it, save, and come back here and let's look at it. And you can see it's now taller, okay? Now let's look at this on mobile. Let's make sure um, that we've covered everything and let's see how this is gonna look on mobile. Okay, so here's tablet. and I don't love how that looks, so I'm actually just going to change the layout on tablet to this layout. So it'll just kind of stack like this, but then the issue here is, um, so let's come over here, inspect, and then let's look at it on a, uh, let's do iPad Pro. Okay, let me refresh. All right, so now the height of this is not going to be exactly what I want it to be. So um, so what I can do is uh, come over, let's see, advanced, and then uh, minimum height. I can actually change this just for tablet. So anytime this icon is selected, I can um, adjust things, and it's only going to affect tablet of this item, of what I'm editing, okay? So for this minimum height, I think I had it set at 400 before. So let's just do 600, let's make it a little bit bigger, and then I'll refresh, okay? And I like the way that looks. And this actually looks a lot more um, like our original example. All right, and let's do the same thing for mobile. So I'm gonna flip us into mobile, and um, it's stacked. Um, actually, let's do this, call, this um, two grid layout, but I'm gonna show you um, how to remove this padding here. Okay, so we'll go to advanced, and then again, we're just on mobile. So what we're editing here is only the padding on mobile. It's not going to affect our desktop view. So um, I'm gonna, let's link it. Let's see how we can, uh-oh, I'm on the wrong thing. My bad, okay, hang on. Let me reset, all right. We need to actually adjust the padding on the actual columns because that's what we edited earlier. All right, so let's um, sync those. And now we can kind of do something like that, all right? So I'm gonna go to each of these sections and change that. Okay, and then we will look at it on mobile and make sure it's all, oops, it's all good. <clears throat> All right, let's go to iPhone XR. Okay, 
Perfect. So yeah, so now we've got this, these columns um, with our titles in there and I like the way that looks. It kind of brings up a, everything up a little bit more above the fold so it's not all stacked on top of each other. One more thing I'm going to edit is the space in between here. We can actually reduce the space there. So I'm going to select the row layout and then we have our column gutter which is the space between your columns. So it'd be this right here, okay? And then you have your row gutter, and that's gonna be the space between your rows. So that's the space right here. So typically if I'm changing one, I'm changing the other, just to make sure that um, they look even across the board. So I'm just gonna change those both to small. The default there is medium. So um, that was the what was set originally. Okay, perfect. So now we can look at it on an iPad, and it looks like this. And then um, just a note on this, you can do this for uh, four columns across if you wanted, and then you would just adjust the padding like I showed on the mobile version. So if you didn't want two across like this, then you could do four and then adjust the padding on each of the sections like I showed on, on a mobile, okay? And then we've got um, desktop, that looks good, all right? So that is how you will um, kind of recreate this look.